I have a ton of packages to unbox. Package from Makesy. Uh, I just got one ingredient and it's luxury perfumers alcohol. I wanted to purchase it initially when I placed my last order with them but it was out of stock. And as soon as I seen that it was restocked, I just bought it really quickly because I noticed it's always going out of stock very quickly. Every once in a while, I just go on a rampage on Amazon and buy a bunch of stuff for photography. I got a bunch of mirrors. You can't really tell they're mirrors because they have coverings on them. Specifically, I wanted this squiggly shape, but, oh, and I really wanted this shape too. I thought this was really cute. I'll have links down below to everything. Okay, this wasn't in a box. I opened it up a while ago. I figured these would just be great for doing like texture shots. This is from TKB. I got some polyamide eight. This is similar to polyamide three. Supposedly is easier to melt down. I also got some TKB thickening clay. Then I got some DNC red 27. I also got stevia sweetener because I've never used this, but a lot of people have been asking me about like sweeteners for lip products and I've never used them. I've just used like flavors and I was curious. And then in here, some TKB lip gloss base and it's ready to wear. And then I don't know if this is how it's pronounced, but I got polybutene. I also got, okay, I don't know if they should ruin something free, but one of these I do not remember getting. Sideshow Pink Lip Liquid. And then I also got some preservative cap two. And if I remember correctly, this is an oil soluble preservative that is lip safe. Okay, moving on. Yay! So I finally upgraded and I got some lab coats. For the longest time, I always just wore an apron. Well, now I'm not making like large mass amounts of products all the time. And I'm doing a lot more like experimenting again. And a couple weeks ago, I accidentally grazed my arm into a chemical and instantly broke out in contact dermatitis. And literally when that happened, I was just like, this is why people wear lab coats. So I got myself some lab coats. So let's hope they fit. And I'm um, gonna be honest, wait. Hold on, this feels too small on me. This is uncomfortable, I hate this. I hate everything about this. That is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever worn in my life. And like, I don't even know if getting a larger size would help because just the material is like crap. And then this feels the same way. This one's arms feel bigger. Okay, I don't actually hate this one as much, but the material is so uncomfortable. Ugh. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know what these are. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at these little jars. And these are the kind of jars that press down and like a little bit of lotion comes out. And then we also got, it's, it's just bubbles. Because I got a bubble machine. It's not here yet. I, I got a bubble machine for taking photos. That's why. These, this is the inspiration photos that inspired the idea. <laughs> This is just white vinyl for Cricut. And it's so I can make labels with color. But I just got white for now so I can test it out. I'm excited for this one. It's just a clear acrylic tray. And this is going to be used to make water shots for my products. I guess here's some like inspo ideas, what I'm referring to. But I'm really excited. It does have handles on the sides. And ideally, you want one that is closed so you can fill it up more with water. I think there's enough space in between the base and the handle that we should be able to fill it up enough. Okay, this, if you've already seen my organizing, <laughs> organizing my lab video, which if you haven't, you should go watch it. I needed another one of these. I'm already using one of these for all my fragrance oils, but I needed another one for my flavor oils and colors, I believe. I still have three more packages and I think I'm gonna unbox these tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I have a lot more packages to open. So before we go in a lab and open like the really big stuff, let's finish opening up the rest of the small stuff. So like I said, I've been on this huge photography kick, buying a bunch of stuff for photography. I got this to basically create a like fake shelf for photos and if I like like the way it looks I'm gonna get a second one so it'll look like there's like two shelves. These do not look like the photo. Okay, these were not All right, we got lots of fun things in here. So I got these pretty pump bottles. Basically I bought like 
a bunch of new packaging so I can make like an entire skincare routine for myself in like cute packaging. And it's just like a treatment pump. Okay, this I got, I don't remember. Hmm, I guess I just don't remember ordering. Whatever, it's what I ordered. They got my order right. I just got this to help like add texture to photos and stuff like that. Hopefully it, it works out in the way I want it to. I don't know where to put this. So I got these two little ceramic bathtubs. And of course I had to get one in white and one in pink. This was like my inspiration from Pinterest. This organic peel off mask base. I got this heart-shaped bath bomb mold from Makesy. A few round bath bomb molds from Makesy. Oh, I forgot I ordered two of these peel-off masks. I also got this organic sugarcane alcohol, and I've never actually worked with alcohol in my products before, but there, there comes up so many situations where I need like an alcohol as a solvent for something and I never have it. So I just finally got one, so I have some. I don't have any plans for it, but you never know. I'm trying to like get more diverse with my humectants because like I gotta get away from just using glycerin and propendol all the time. So I got this BioBase butene, 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 butene glycol. I can't pronounce anything. Okay. And the last thing I got from Mixi are these four ounce glass jars. I guess I'm just gonna put all this stuff back in the box. Okay, so I don't know what to think of these bottles, so I'm excited to seal them. The only thing I'm a little worried about with these bottles is the texture. I hope, it has like this, um, it's silicone. It's like a silicone texture, so you can like squeeze it. And that's why I wanted them, is because they're like soft, squeezable, but they're also not clear. I like the color of it, it looks cute came with labels we don't care about that we don't use those but yeah so these are like six ounce pump bottles so these are like the same exact style and everything except they're larger and they have flip caps and i think they're super cute and i got four of those the only thing i hate is they have like a weird like tan cap i wish they were white but that's fine oh here's the bubble machine remember i got the bubbles so here's the bubble machine so we're gonna test that out today too Okay, see, this is what I remembered buying. Okay, so I guess I got, I guess I got both. Like a little, like silk. See, that's what I thought I got. I thought I got like a piece of silk for, <coughs> I just jumped, silk for photos. So apparently I got a piece of silk and whatever this is. This is just a bunch of loofahs. Okay, let me just open this up first and then I'll come back to you guys. This is a C stand and this does actually so many different things, but the reason I bought it was to literally hold a mirror. I want to attach a mirror to it to do like reflective lighting. I'll show you guys that here at the end of the video, but the C stand also makes it to where you can put your camera like directly above everything. Let me just put it together, you'll see. So this is the C stand. It does so many different things. So one thing it does is it's an amazing tripod so you can do like over head shots if you've always wondered like how people did shots like this. Yeah, you don't use one of these basic <laughs> tripods. That's what I've used. I always just like leaned it up against here and then did it that way, but it was a lot harder and like if I moved the table it would shake the camera. So this keeps your camera completely steady. So that's one reason I got the C-Stand. I don't know, look at this on Amazon and watch the video tutorial of all the things you could do with it. It's super cool. It'll do a better explanation of it. And like I said, this thing goes up really high. So if you need your shot to be as tall as the ceiling, you can make it go as high as the ceiling. Mine actually gets taller than my ceiling. This is the original reason why I bought the C-Stand. And then realizing it does amazing shots with the camera overhead was just a plus. Oh, also what you can do with this, you can use it to hold like your backdrops. I don't actually have any backdrop that would probably work with this, but maybe you do. But getting back to the original reason why I bought it is to attach this baby plate on the very end and slide it in there and then you just tighten it up. Honestly, I'm actually surprised it's only $100. I thought that seemed really expensive, but now that I see the quality of this, this is really good quality. 
all none of my tripods are this nice and the base of it is just so sturdy this I'm, I'm not even kidding like I really really recommend this but what I'm using it for I got this mirror and this will attach to here because I'm actually going to use it to reflect light so let me go ahead and attach that I'm actually just going to tape it okay so this is my first attempt like trying it so <laughs> don't make fun of me if it doesn't look that good but the whole reason I got this C-stand is because a guy on YouTube, I was trying to figure out how to make like natural like lighting coming in through a window without needing a window, right? Because in Ohio, it is just always cloudy here. We don't really have very many sunny, well, we have a lot of sunny days sometimes, but overall, we, we can't just rely on the weather and the time of day, right? I also went ahead and put electrical tape, very, very, very like not neatly to create the little illusion of a fake window and then you have to have some kind of like spotlight i believe i paid like 140 dollars for this i think that's what it's called and it comes with an um, with an umbrella and this lighting is amazing it's way better than ring light and the umbrella softens the light so i'm also using another one of these back here with the umbrella yeah this spotlight game changing but you need a spotlight to do this because it just puts a bunch of condensed light at the mirror and then shoots it back like that. So take like something like this, put it up against it. It'll add like leafy textures. Like this is like a general idea of how people do this kind of lighting without a window. So hopefully that was helpful. So I went to put this mirror away in here and then I remembered I had this and this actually attaches to the spotlight and this actually condenses the light better so I should have actually been using that with it but see how it, it just like narrows in the light more this is the second to last package this one's super exciting to me it's a UV sterilizer so now I can just quickly actually sterilize things which if you don't know it goes disinfect sanitize and then sterilize. So this is the strongest of the cleaning options. But I think it's just pretty straightforward. You just put in whatever you want to sanitize or sterilize, sorry. And then you can take out the shelves if it's a little bit bigger. Obviously it's pretty tiny, so it's not gonna sterilize anything too big. Yeah, we can fit up to, oh, I didn't like that noise. You can fit up to a thousand milliliter beaker. I wonder if it has to be on a platform. I am a little confused because when I'm reading the directions it says put the tools and accessories that need disinfection on the shelves. Disinfect. I thought this was a sterilizer. It says it right there. You do just need to clean it out first before using it and basically it says it only takes 10 minutes for the stuff to disinfect. Um, I just don't like that they keep saying disinfect and not sanitize. Now make sure the door is closed before you use it. It won't turn on if the door is open because you do not want the UV lights to get to you. You turn it counterclockwise to turn it on. Now she's on. If you want to set a time, you just set on 10. So you only need to set on 10 minutes for whatever you have in there to be sterilized. And then it should just automatically shut off back when it gets too off. And if you don't want to make a sanitizing solution, this is a perfect way to sterilize something. But yeah, I got it not only to just like, you know, sanitize things when I don't want to make a whole sanitizing solution and then wait for it to dry. Like, especially with these like immersion blenders. Honestly, now that I have that, I'll probably just always use the UV sanitizer for my immersion blenders because I don't like getting water inside here. It takes forever for the water to come out. So I'll probably start just UV sterilizing those. And just like any, like all of this stuff needs sanitized and what if I need it? I don't wanna make a whole sanitizing solution. Now I can just sterilize it super quickly. Love that. But the main reason I got it is because people are always asking me like, how do you sanitize them? And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have an answer until now. If you've ever tried sanitizing one of these, actually this one has a pretty big opening, but a lot of lip glosses have really tiny openings and if you get them wet on the inside, they like just never dry. And then obviously the doe foot, I mean, I personally don't want to get that wet because it's like cloth. So I think a UV sterilizer is perfect for lip gloss tubes. That's the reason I got it. And 
Also, just to sanitize anything else last minute. I also just got something delivered. They are more backdrops from Replica Surfaces. They are pretty pricey. They're like, I think they're like $90 now. Before they were 80. But if you have the money, they're worth the investment because they're really good quality. I got this background. Okay, now you can kind of see it. I have a backdrop like this already, but it's like really, really tiny and it's like horrible quality. Pink tile. This is the one I was super excited for, and this was the only one I really actually wanted, but then I bought the other one because I was like, eh, let's just, let's get two. But over here, I have, this is a stand, which you guys just seen it earlier. This is also my stand from Replica Surfaces, and it's just so, it makes taking, doing photography so much easier. This is the white background I already have from them. And like, you could literally attach these things on any side of this. They all have like little lips that you can attach it in. So you can even do like a whole corner moment, you know? And then this base I have is like a glossy base and it does really good at making that like beautiful reflection that you see in photos sometimes. And now we have like a cute little background. Now it's time to move on to the very last thing I have to open. I literally have had this for weeks and I've been waiting open it on camera finally it's the moment we've all been waiting for tara's been needing one of these for years but why does she decide to get one now when she doesn't have a business anymore i don't i don't know the answer to that i i don't know why i don't have room for it. actually i'll find room for it i have enough space now it's a filling machine i should have bought it forever ago and it looks like there is actually rust on it yeah this honestly looks not good all right so i'm not happy about this filling machine the life of me i cannot get my camera to focus in on it because it's metal and it's like the light is like reflecting but here's pictures i took on my phone it's just got like little black specks all over oh gosh and that's really gross <gasps> no 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 i am not keeping this this thing is like, do you see how it's yellow? It won't focus. Here's a picture. It is just covered in gunk. Is it like lubrication? I don't like it. I'm probably gonna return it. So apparently I was using the wrong camera when I recorded this, cause that camera did not pick up any audio, but here I am just like testing out using that tray. I poured some water in it. I'm just kind of like practicing like water shots. What I really like about this is it just, it does keep water in place. And then I took the liquid dye that I always use from elementsbathandbody.com. And I put like a few drops in there and then like moved it around, added a bit more water and just kind of took some more shots and was just like playing around with it to see like if it was going to do what I wanted it to do. And it did exactly what I wanted it to do. So I was pretty happy with it. I'm a song.